Yo, what's up, YouTube? Today I'm back with another video, man. And today's video is on the two-way perimeter threat. Yes, that's the build name. Two-way perimeter threat, man. This build can dribble, it has insane defense, and it can shoot. Shout out to Hefe Ant. I did get the build from him. Make sure you guys go follow him on Twitch. He's streaming every single day, and he is very good at the game. If you guys want to see this build in game and see what it can do, make sure you guys go follow him on Twitch. We'll put the link to his Twitch down below. Make sure you guys go check that out. And before we get into the two-way perimeter threat, can we get 100 likes on this video? 100 likes would be insane. And also hit that subscribe button. We're trying to hit 5.2K. If we can hit 5.2K before next week, that would be absolutely insane. And also leave a comment down below if you guys have any questions or need any help. And I'll try my best to respond. Now, let's get into the two-way perimeter threat, man. All right, so once you're in the My Player Builder, what you guys want to do, you guys want to click create your own build. Hand this, you guys can go with left or right. Pick the hand that you're most used to. I'm used to the left, so I'm going to go with left. But there's no advantage to either. So pick the hand that you are best with. Jersey number, you guys can pick your favorite number. I'm going to go with 14. All right, so the position you guys want to make this build, you guys want to leave this build as a point guard. And I'm not going to lie to you guys, this is like a speed-boosting perimeter lockdown build. This build can dribble. This build can defend, it gets a 94 perimeter defense, it gets a 91 steal, it can shoot. My boy Hefe Ant shoots lights out with this build. And when I mean lights out with this build, he literally shoots consistently. He does not miss when I play with him. So this build is insane. It's like a speed boosting lockdown build. So you guys want to keep your position as point guard because you will be dribbling on this build. Height, you guys want to go with 6'6". Six, six. Weight, you guys want to keep it at 205. And wingspan, you guys want to keep it at 6'11". All right, so upgrading this build. Make sure you guys watch the whole video and upgrade the build as I show because just one stat, one stat could get you a completely different build and build name. And I wouldn't want that to happen to you guys. So make sure you guys watch the whole video and upgrade as I show. All right, so first we're gonna start off with shooting. For shooting, what you guys wanna do, you guys wanna have a 93 mid range. You guys wanna go with a 93 mid range on this build. And when we have a 93 mid range on this build, we get a bunch of good badges and we are able to get a lot of good jump shot bases because we have a 93 mid range. And I'm not gonna lie to you, bro. My boy Hefe, he kills people on the mid range. I even had to defend him when he was going for middies. And I'm not gonna lie, it was unguardable. The fade package he has, I don't know what he's using, but he does not miss his fades. And he cooks a lot of people going for the mid ranges too. So you guys can cook in the mid range, but even better, we get the badges that we need and want and also we get good jump shot bases and as you guys can see we get blinders on gold we get dead eye on gold catch and shoot hall of fame green machine on gold space creator on gold we get comeback kid on hall of fame guard up hall of fame midi magician hall of fame which is very good we get open looks on hall of fame and open looks hall of fame will allow us to beam all of our open shots which is something we need and we get whistle on gold these badges are insane you guys got all the good badges you guys need on Golden Hall of Fame. So you guys will definitely be able to shoot on this build right off the rip. Next, we wanna get into our three pointer. Your three pointer, you guys wanna go with an 85 three pointer. And you guys can shoot very consistently with an 85 three. You can get bronze in this range with an 85 three. You can get agent threes on bronze as well. But I'm telling you guys, you guys can shoot very, 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 very consistently on this build. Especially with the badges you have on this build, like open looks on Hall of Fame, blinders on gold, green machine gold, and a bunch of other great shooting badges that should have no problem with shooting on this build. Next is free throw. He does have a 99 free throw on his build. He does play a lot of rec and he does play Goyam sometimes. So that's why he has a 99 free throw. You guys can take this out. You really won't get much stats back. You know what I'm saying? You won't really get much attributes back from taking it out. But you guys can take this out and lower it if you don't play rec or probably five. But since I am making this build, I'm going to put that 99 free throw. And I know a lot of you guys do play Rec in 5v5. It's very popular this year. A lot of people play it. So that 99 free throw will come in clutch if you guys want to use it. And that's all we want to do with shooting. Next is playmaking. Playmaking. What you guys want to do, you guys want to have an 84 pass accuracy. You guys will be playing point guard on this build. And we have to pass the ball very well. So if you're a point guard and you can't really pass the ball, it's going to be a tough time for you because you're making the plays, you're calling the cuts, you're really controlling the game. So having a high pass accuracy is very important on a guard 
You get 84 pass accuracy, you do get diamond on silver, you get very silver, relay pass on silver, special delivery on gold, if you want to go lobs, touch pass is silver, and break starter on silver. And with an 84 pass accuracy, you guys will be passing the ball very, very quickly. Because on my lockdown build, I have a 70, and I feel like I pass the ball very quick. So I can just imagine that 84 will be even faster, man. So 84 pass accuracy is definitely recommended. I personally wouldn't go higher than this, but if you guys want to put it down just like 80, you guys can, but I definitely recommend you to keep it at an 84. Next is ball handle, and again, this build is like a speed boosting perimeter lockdown. I don't know if you guys remember my 2K22 speed boosting perimeter lockdown, but I'm getting like that type of vibe with this build, you know what I'm saying? It's a little bit better than the 2K22 one because 2K22 is pie charts, but man, this build is fire, bruh. Ball handle, what you guys want to do, you guys want to have an 87 ball handle. And with an 87 ball handle, you guys are able to get good dribble moves on this build, and you guys will dribble very well on this build. If I'm not mistaken, I think my 6'6 point guard that is not even a lockdown, I think he has an 87 ball handle. And the dribble moves I have on my 6'6, it's amazing. I love it so much. If you guys want the dribble moves for my 6'6, and I will reply back to that comment and send it to you guys. So let me know down below if you guys want my 6'6 dribble moves, and I will give it to you guys. I will reply to your comment and send you my dribble moves. And you guys will dribble very well on this build, trust me. Especially if you know how to abuse the speed boost, you know what I'm saying? You guys can definitely go crazy. So for right now, what we have is killer combos on silver, which is pretty common for a 6-6 build. Unpluckable silver, ankle breaker on gold. We will get more stats as we upgrade our physicals, and we will upgrade our physicals later on on this video, and you guys will get a bunch more playmaking badges. Next is speed with ball. You guys want to make that a 75, and that's pretty common to have a 75 speed with ball because a lot of the dribble styles that you like need and you guys would want, all you really need is a 75 speed with ball, and you can get it. But if you guys want to be safe, if you guys want to be safe, go to the animation store, check what speed with ball you need for the dribble style you guys want, and then you guys can upgrade it to that. But commonly, it is 75 speed with ball that you need. You don't need anything higher than that. So, so far, we are a point guard. We got the dribbling, we got the shooting. Now it's time to become a defender. So you guys want to go to defense, perimeter defense, what you guys want to do? You guys want to have a 94 perimeter defense. Yes, a 94 perimeter defense. And with a 94 perimeter defense, you guys get, will get clamps. You got to just upgrade physicals. But we get ankle braces on Hall of Fame, Challenger Hall of Fame, which is good for contest. We get fast speed on silver. We get pick dodger on gold. And we get off ball pest on Hall of Fame. And again, we just got to upgrade our physicals and we will have the other badges as well. But with a 94 perimeter defense, we can play on ball defense ourselves. We don't even have to get a lockdown. A 94 perimeter defense will allow us to get bumpy. We will definitely play great defense on the 1v1 court. And also another benefit about having a 94 perimeter defense is if you play 1v1 court. If you play 1v1 court, you guys will be like a lockdown in the 1v1 court. And of course on offense, you guys can pick up because you guys have shooting, you guys can dribble. You guys can run with a lockdown. It's not like you guys can't run with a lockdown. You guys can, but you guys don't even need one when you're on this build. And I'm not gonna lie, now thinking about it, this build is definitely good for Proyam. This is like a hash shitting build. So if you ever wanna be like a secondary point guard low key, but you guys wanna be like a lockdown on defense too, this is definitely a good build to use. You guys can spot up a hash, be the secondary point guard, and on defense, you guys can play lockdown. You don't have to make two different builds. And I'm saying, you guys can be that secondary ball handler and lockdown at the same time. With this build so we definitely can play on ball defense and to make our on ball defense even better we want to have a 91 steal we want to have a 91 steal on this build and with a 91 steal we get glove on gold we get interceptor on gold right stick ripper on gold as well so we definitely definitely can rip people and get interceptions on this build so that's all you guys want to do for defense you guys want to have that perimeter defense you guys want to have that steal next is physicals speed the speed you guys want to have on this build, you guys want to have an 82 speed. And the 82 speed is very good because we need to have speed if we want to play good on ball defense. If you don't have speed on your build and you want to play defense, it's gonna, you're going to have a hard time. You know what I'm saying? You're going to have a hard time keeping up with the guards. You're going to get burnt every single time. You're going to get cooked if you don't have speed on your build. So make sure you upgrade your speed to 82 so you can play good on ball defense. Not only that, but not only that, we want to have speed so we can get speed booster on silver. We need that speed booster on silver. 
if you guys want to dribble well, if you guys want to get open, you guys need speed booster on silver, man. Next is acceleration. Acceleration, you guys want to make that at 84. You want to have that 84 acceleration on this build. Strength, you guys want to be at that 71 strength. You want to have strength on this build because you don't want to be a baby. And with a 71 strength, we get immovable enforcer on bronze, which is very good because that helps us with our bumps. We're able to get bumpy on this build because we have a movable enforcer. And also what will help us get bumps is clamps. So we have gold clamps and a movable enforcer at the same time. That's definitely gonna help us get bumpy. And not only just that, you guys wanna have strength so you guys can have physical handles on silver. Trust me when I say you need physical handles. Physical handles helps you not get bumped so often when you're dribbling. So you guys need to have strength on this build so you guys can have physical handles, movable enforcer, and clamps. All three of those badges are super, super important. Vertically, you guys can keep that the same because we really won't have much finishing on this build. This build is not really a finisher. This build, you really go for that three and go for that mid range. Next to stamina, you guys want to make that stamina 99. And when you have a 99 stamina, you get 94 feet on Hall of Fame, which is good. So then you can clamp people up on that backcourt. Again, we're like a lockdown on this build. You guys will be able to clamp people, get bumpy on people in the backcourt. We get workers on Hall of Fame, which is very important as well. Because like when you get a steal and like you and the other opponent are fighting over the ball, because you have workhorse all thing, you will most likely get it. You know what I'm saying? So you guys want to have a 99 stamina because it will help on defense. And also when you're dribbling, you want to have a 99 stamina. And we do have a few stats left. You guys can upgrade your layup. You guys can upgrade your interior. You guys can upgrade some things. I will probably most likely upgrade my dragon layup just to make sure I can make some layups in. You know what I'm saying? Make your finishing a little bit better. And we do have like one stat left. I'm just throw it on interior. And we are at 99 overall on this 6 6 two way perimeter threat, man. This build is like a speed boosting perimeter lockdown, man. You guys could definitely go crazy on this build. Shout out to my boy Hefe Ant. The link to his Twitch is down below in the description. Make sure you guys go watch him on Twitch. He does go live a lot, he goes live almost every single day. And he probably would be on this build. If anything, you guys can ask him, like, hey, can we see the two way perimeter threat? Like, can you play on it? And he will show you this build in game. And then you guys can make your decision if you guys want to make it or not. But I feel like this build is fire, especially for Pro AM. Again, being that secondary ball handler, spot up, and lockdown, that sounds fire to me. But not even just that 1v1 court, twos, threes. This build is tough. So once you guys are done upgrading this build, you guys want to continue. And we are two way perimeter threat, man. If you guys do like this build, leave a like down below if you guys are gonna make this build leave a comment down below let me know that you're gonna make this build if you guys are gonna make this build but change a couple things let, let me know down below what you guys change i'm definitely interested to know i hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope you guys enjoyed this build have a blessed day peace